Hi hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a add to cart system using Nux.js. So let's see. Uh, just uh, look at that. This is our add to cart section. This is our cart, and your cart. This is our cart balance section. Uh, not cart balance, one cart price. So uh, this is our add to cart button, and this is our uh, PDI state for cart. I'm using View 3. And this is the version of View 3.3.4. Uh, I'm using and Nux.js 3. I'm using and for state management, I'm using Pinia. So I am. Uh, I just uh, created this add to cart system using Pinia store. Uh, this is our cart state you are looking at. Uh, you are looking. So uh, this is the cart content state, and this is the getter. And there are three getters: formatted cart, and one for total cart price, and another for cart total item. So one for item, and one for uh, this is total price, and one for formatted cart. So if you uh, if you uh, want to, so we uh, actually we need a checkout page. So uh, in the checkout page, we need to show that uh, all the products. So this is the this is for formatted cart. So um, uh, though i am not uh, just uh, i am i don't create any checkout page so i just created this uh, add to cart section add to cart for tutorial purpose so if you if, if you know how to create this add to cart section this is uh, the next section is very simple that means checkout page or product page it is this is very simple this is the very difficult section uh, we know for uh, add to cart section using view or react uh, for state management for the both section this part and this part we have to change this data uh, simultaneously from there and there uh, so let's see how this works so if i click add to cart look at that there are one product and the cart is cart uh, price is 708 dollar so look at that this is our cart object and the product id is one and quantity is one and uh, if i you uh, so and another uh, section is getters and the formatted card is look at that this is the formatted card and the product is id is one image is at image this is image and name is camera model one this is the name you're seeing and the price is 780 dollar and quantity is one and the total cost is uh, 780 if i click another add to card look at that this is the uh, this is incremented and the total price is 15 uh 156 dollar and look at that the quantity is two the product is same the id is one card total item is two and total card price is two look at that the product id is same but the quantity is incremented and here also quantity is incremented if i click another product uh, look at that this is the uh, camera model 2 and price is 190 dollar i just click add to cart and look at that there are three items in this cart and the total price is seven hundred and one thousand and seventy five hundred dollar and look at that this is another product is added in our cart in our cart content state and the product id is two and the quantity is one and we also know that the, our first product id is one but we added two quantity for this product so our uh, another product is added in our formatted card section you can uh, loop over through it for uh, your checkout page you can use this card formatted card option and this is the total card price you can show uh, this uh, here i am al al already showing uh, so you can uh, if you see the source code you will understand how this code works because i am not gonna share this code in, uh, with you i just share my repo and how this product works and the card total item is three if i uh, just uh, refresh this page look at that i am just uh, reloading this page and the uh, everything is already worked look at that my network is gone so there is no net in net, net right now so the image is gone because image url is coming from a network look at that you are seeing but i am in local section that, that's why my state is already uh, also uh, the state is still working for that so uh, uh, for networking uh, for networking dot there is no image uh, in this section there so now our object is two object uh, two uh, product is in our formatted card section our total price is 700 1070 uh, dollar and car total card item is three so if i delete this one product and just see that our total cart item is three and total your cart item is 170 dollar i am just deleting uh, this product and the product id is two and the price of product id two is 179 dollar i am just deleting this product look at this i just deleted and that 
this is also deleted from this formatted card section and also decremented this price from the total net price and total card item is also decremented look at that this is the product item 2 and our card section is 1500 uh, 1056 dollar and if i delete this also look at that our card is again in our previous uh, just initial part look like that like now so how this card section is working using naxjs and just uh, using pinia for state management so we can use this pinia for state management for view theory it is recommended to use pinia rather uh, than using vuex so you can use this uh, pinia so right now uh, in my computer there is no network so i'm not uh, going uh, so i'm not able to share this uh, pinia uh, official website you just google it pinia so it will come for you and you can see all of everything about it so now i'm going to share you another section this is authenticated section look at that i am just creating another to card section look at that i am uh, just 780 dollars if I refresh this page, still our card is there. After refreshing, look at that. I'm refreshing this, still card is there. So if I go to the uh, click this section, look at that. I am uh, redirected to the login page. But if I logged in, I'm why I'm using my email address. Login and the password is. The password is password and look at that i am logged in and if i click this now i am going to redirect it to user profile page not login page this is also reactive so i am automatically redirected to the my order page after clicking this after logged in so without page refresh uh, uh, we uh, we can if we handle our state for login and without login so look at that if i try to visit login page i am not able to visit this page we i'm I will be redirected to the index page look at that this is working perfectly if i go to the login page just visit the register page and also i'm redirected to the index page and um, it's still i have order page and this is a card is also working fine if you go to the index page again and if i add to cart all still my card is working so uh, without creating any authentication system before uh, action any card option so you can use this so uh, after uh, sign in uh, it is uh, after sign in you want to only you want to create add to cart option after signing so this is very bad practice just uh, all time use uh, add to cart option before signing and then before order uh, it is mandatory to be logged in you can uh, add this feature uh, it is uh, good practice to add these features in e-commerce website so many token based authentication uh, or api based uh, uh, e-commerce website uh, many application use this section uh, after logged in uh, only customer can able to uh, make an order uh, make an uh, add to cart option so this is not a uh, good practice just use this uh, add to cart section before logged in and just uh, force the user uh, to log in before make an order so if i go to my profile page and if i signed in signed out look at that uh, i am i am log out and if i uh, i am go to the login page look at that i am now login page so it is working very perfectly so you can uh, use this source code in your nat.js application if you want to create any e-commerce application or uh, e-commerce based application so or uh, any application uh, there is a uh, uh, you need this kind of feature so you can use this code and one more thing is that this is progressive web app you can use this application using your mobile app using a uh, smartphone this is the look at that this is the test app um, uh, this is that this is showing the uh, notification uh, here so you if you want to use this as a progressive web app look at that i'm just installing and this is the install in our application that this is the uh, for our uh, uh, offline application uninstall this app which is very showing so this is also a progressive web app you can use this application in your mobile app so just uh, visit this link using mobile and just uh, install it in your uh, uh, smartphone and this is work like a charm like a android app or apps or apple uh, smart smart app so this is work in your uh, apple application uh, not apple uh, actually uh, key, uh, apple based uh, key web apps and uh, your android OS app, web apps and also it is uh, working offline in your uh, 
desktop application like uh, using progressive web app so i uh, hope you will understand what i want to understand you and i will share this code in, in with my video description in my video description i will share this git repository in my video description so you can see this code this is our source code i and this is our static product page i just uh, using in our uh, pages index pages and i just imported it look at that i just imported this product and just uh, uh, loop over to it look at that just i just make a, i create a loop and just print it here and create this is add to cart button and making this add to cart like that so uh, this is our cart section uh, you will find it in your cart.js the store directory and cart.js you'll find all the source code is there and how i just use it there is very simple it will be only four pages uh, user profile and index and login and register uh, for profile page i am just using this middleware is logged out and middleware is there middleware uh, is logged in and is logged out for one is for private route and one is for one is for public page and one is for uh, private page and this is very simple application and but very effective you can use this source code in your application if you want to create any commerce website so uh, if you like this uh, uh, if you like this tutorial please uh, make a star in twitter and just like it in youtube thank you so much guys